Hey everybody, welcome back to another classwork video. Today we're going to be doing the statistics and z-scores classwork. So to do statistics on Desmos is actually really easy. You just have to know how to make a list. Now whenever I make lists, I always use a capital letter L. So I'm going to go to box one, click in box one, and I'm going to type in capital L and a one. And this is going to stand for list one. I'm also going to type an equal sign and then I need the square brackets. So to find the square brackets, you can find them on your keyboard or if you want to find them on the keypad, you can click on the keypad at the bottom and then the square brackets will be in the ABC menu at the very bottom row. So we're going to click that and that's going to be our square brackets. So now what I can do is I can put all my data inside the square brackets and I can separate the numbers by commas. So for the first one, I have 24, 25, 28, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34, 38, 41, and 45. And then I'm gonna close up the brackets. Now clicking in box two, I can see all the data here. It says that it's an 11 element list. That means there are 11 data points. And what I can do with this is I can visualize it on the graph by using a histogram. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the bottom of the screen where it says show keypad. We're gonna click on that. And over here on the right side where it says functions, we're gonna click that and we're gonna to go to distributions right here. Under visualizations, you can choose histogram, that happens to be my favorite. So I'm gonna click histogram, and then it's gonna ask me for two things. It's gonna ask me for the data set and the bin width. The data set is going to be whatever symbol you called your list. So we're gonna type in capital L1, and then I'm gonna use a comma, and I'm gonna put in a one for my bin width. So now I can't really see it as it is, but what I can do is I can go to the bottom of the box where it says zoom fit and I can click on the magnifying glass. So now I can see my box chart and I'm gonna change the color to blue so I can see it a little bit better. Now the height of the box is gonna show you how many times the data point shows up in the list. And what we wanna do is we wanna use this list to find mean, median, mode, and a bunch of other statistical elements. So to do that, I'm gonna click in box three to find the mean or the average. All we have to do is type in mean parentheses L1, and it'll give you the average at the bottom of the box, 33.18, if you round it to the hundredths decimal point. So we're gonna stop at the eight right here. Then it asks to find the median. I'm gonna type in M-E-D-I-A-N, that stands for median. And inside the parentheses, I'm gonna type in L1, and it's gonna give me the median of the list, which is 33. That's the number that shows up in the middle when I arrange all the numbers from least to greatest. In the next box, I need to find my maximum and minimum. Maximum is going to be max. I'm gonna put in L1. And the maximum is going to be the biggest number in the list, which is 45 over here. I need to find the minimum. So that's gonna be M-I-N. And inside there, I'm gonna put in L1 and that's gonna give me 24. Now to find the range, what I need to do is I need to take the maximum and subtract the minimum. So the range is gonna be 45 minus 24, and then it gives me the answer at the bottom, 21. So the range is gonna be 21. Now we skip this, but the mode is gonna be the number that shows up most often in your list. And typically the mode is gonna have the highest histogram uh, box. And for this one, it's going to be this number right here with the highest chart. I'm gonna zoom in on it to tell what it is, and it's going to be 34. So 34 is going to be your mode for this one. Okay, 
So then the last two things it has to find is the standard deviation and a z-score. Now to do standard deviation, I'm going to type in STDEV, and then on the inside, I'm gonna put L1 as usual, and it gives me the standard deviation of 6.4. That's gonna be my standard deviation for the data. And then the last thing that I'm gonna find is the z-score for X equals 38. So I'm gonna type in 38, and I need to subtract the mean. Remember that the mean was 33.18. We're gonna subtract that average. I'm gonna put this inside parentheses. And we're going to divide by the standard deviation, which is 6.4. And at the bottom, it tells me my Z-score is going to be 0 0.75 if I round it to two decimal points. So that's how you can find statistics and Z-scores in Desmos. And I hope that helps.